a great and um, beautiful people of God. Welcome to my channel. This is the Blessing Abuna TV, a great channel full of God's words, prayers, prophecy, word of knowledge. Here we have all of the Bible and audio playlist. Subscribe, stay with us. You're welcome. God bless you. Today, I want to share God's word with you. God's word is rich, God's word is full of everything. Whatever you're looking for is in God's word. Amen. We're looking at a very short verse. First Corinthians 16 14. Do everything in love. Do everything in love. Why do you do what you do in church or at home or in the office or anywhere you go? Why do you do it? Is it because of love? Is it because you love the people? Or because you love God? Because you love it? or you just do it because of eye service? So we'll see you did it. Or because you don't want people to say you did not do it, what's your motive? Bible says in First Corinthians sixteen fourteen, do everything in love. Because how you're going to get the benefit, the profit in that thing you're doing, the gain. If you do it in love, how you're going to get a blessing. Praise God. If you do it complaining, murmuring, do it because of eye service, do it do it for so people don't go and say you did not do it, you don't get any blessing for it. Do everything in love. If you give, give because you love God, because you love the people, because you love the brethren. Do it out of love. Whatever you do, you're in a department in church, do it because you love God. Not because you want people to see you, or the pastor should see you, or because people should say, oh, you are committed. No, because you love Jesus. Love. Hallelujah. Do everything because of love. So people they, they give money not because of love. The particular people they do give one, they give because of their own selfish motive and they go behind and complain and gossip and murmur. You will not be blessed for it. So people they do one thing or the other for people, not because they love them. And as far as the person that they helping becomes big, and the person is getting better um, in life and getting promoted in life, they get jealous. And they cut off on the person, the more the person's friend again. That means everything you ever did for the person was not for, for, for of love. It was for called spite. So the person was so wretched. So let me just help this person. He's so down. He's so little. And now when the person, God is blessing the person, the person is now becoming a, a better person in life. God is blessing the person. The person is now having things. You not get jealous and you cut off the friendship. What is that? So to be happy. So I'm happy for you. Oh, you cannot afford this. Oh, that's good. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Thank God. You love. Love. That's Corinthians 16, 14. Do everything in love. Hope oh, this has blessed your life and hope you apply it to your daily life. Do everything if, of, because of love. Not because of eye service or your own selfish interest or so people will see you or whatever reason, but because of love. Not because if you are you are better than the person. How about people they feel they are better than the person and they help and help they feel they are better. When the person gets better too, they get jealous. No. If you do it out of love, you'll never be jealous. You only be happy for the person. So I'm happy for you. I used to be the one helping, but now to look at you, well, I'm so happy for you. Love. God bless you. You have learned one or two things from this video. And I bless you today in Jesus' name. You are blessed in the morning. You are blessed in the noon. You are blessed in the evening. Evil is far from you. As you help others and do the things you do in love, God will promote you. God will enable you. You will never fall. You will not be ashamed. You never go backward. You go forward ever. Backward never. In Jesus' name, you will not be sick. Healing is your own. You are healed from every infirmity. You are well. You are strong. You are promoted. Victory is your portion. In all you do, you'll be victorious. You are promoted. In Jesus' name, evil is far from you. Sickness is far from you. The Bible says that you don't allow sickness to come in our dwelling places. That's your portion. In Jesus' name, no sickness in your dwelling places. You are healthy. You are strong. You are well. In Jesus' name, Amen. All over you will be love. People will look at you and see the love of God in you, and for your sake, to give your life to Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you richly. If you are not born again yet, you are watching this video. What are you waiting for? Give your life to Christ. Say after me the prayer of salvation. Say, Lord Jesus, today I come to you. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. 
I believe you died for me. You were buried on the third day. Was the gift from the dead? Lord Jesus, I'm not yours. God in heaven, thank you for sending your son to die for me. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. If that prayer was said by you, you are now born again. So I'm going to a Bible teaching church and so, to this channel. Subscribe right now. Touch the bell. Share the video. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Bye.